Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. This is second class based on variable separable method. You observe this. In this class, we are going to practice three problems based on variable separable method. You observe here, they given one differential equation. This is the differential equation. In examination, they may ask like this solve the differential equation or they can ask find the general solution of this differential equation okay see in variable separable method you need to remember three steps first one is x variable dx y variable dy is separated like this what i'll do here i'll take uh, this secant square y into tan x into dy to the other side secant square x into tan y into dx equal to i am taking this term to other side then what you will get minus secant square y into tan x into dy so i want to write all x related terms and dx at one side all y related terms and dy at one side you observe here what i will do here I'll take uh, this tan x to this side and this tan y to this side. This tan x you take to this side and this tan y you take to this side. Then what you will get? You will get like this. Secant square x divided by, you take this tan x to this side. Secant square x divided by tan x into dx. You should get the this dx always in the form of into dx only, not 1 by dx. You always need this into dx. Now you take this tan y to this side. If we take this tan y to this side, what is remaining this side? Secant square y divided by tan y, tan y into dy. You can observe here all x terms dx at one side, all y terms dy at one side. That means step one is over. Now what we will do in step 2, we integrate this on both sides. Integrate this on both sides, integral of secant square x divided by tan x into dx equal to, here minus is constant, we can write it outside the integral, take minus outside, integral of secant square y divided by tan y into dy. Okay, you observe here, how to integrate this? In integration chapter, we learn this formula integral of f dash of x divided by f of x dx. If numerator is the derivative of denominator, we can write its answer directly. What is its answer? Log mod f of x plus c. You observe here, derivative of tan x is what? We learn this formula in differentiation. Derivative of tan x is secant square x. We know that derivative of tan x is secant square x. So here, this integral is of this form, integral of f dash of x by f of x dx. So you can write its answer directly. What is its answer? Its answer is log mod tan x equal to minus. You observe, what is the derivative of tan y with respect to y? Derivative of tan y with respect to y is secant square y. It's simple thing. So here, this integral is also this form. So we can write its answer directly. Log mod f of x. f of x means denominator part. Denominator part is what? Tan y. And you see here third one, we will write plus c on any one side. See, after integration of this, we didn't written plus c here. Because to avoid the confusion, I'll write plus c at any one side. If I write plus c here and if I write plus c here, there is a chance you will confuse and you will cancel both. That's why I'll write plus c on any one side. So I'll write plus c here. You remember in uh, solving differential equations, there are more chances to confuse if you see the test book answer. Whatever you got, that is the general solution of differential equation. If you want to simplify this further, further simplification is also possible. But I do not recommend you to try for the test book answer because the simplification is already over. However, if you want to write little bit of simplification is possible here. You can stop this here, but in some books they'll take it as log c because log c is also variable constant. Here what is c in this integration? Arbitrary constant. So here this c is arbitrary constant. Log c is also arbitrary constant. So when to take log c, when to take plus c, always students will confuse. So I recommend you to stop this problem here only. In case little bit of simplification you know, then you stop this here. Now we'll try to understand this with one more example. You observe this question. In examination, they may ask like this. Solve the differential equation dy by dx equal to 1 plus x square into 1 plus y square. 
or they can ask like this also. Find the general solution of the differential equation dy by dx equal to 1 plus x square into 1 plus y square. Okay. Now we need to solve this differential equation. In variable separable method, what is the first step? x variable dx, y variable dy will be separated. That means all x terms dx at one side, all y terms dy at one side. I will take 1 plus y square to this side. Then what you will get? You will get like this. 1 divided by 1 plus y square into dy. You always need as into dy into dx only. We always need into dy. At the same time, we always need into dx only. Here what I will do, I will take dx to this side. Then what you will get? You will get like this. 1 plus x square into dx. You can observe in this step, all y terms dy at one side, all x terms at dx at one side. That means x variable dx y variable dy are separated. Okay, this first step is over. What is second step? You integrate on both sides. You integrate here on both sides. What you will get? 1 divided by 1 plus y square into dy equal to integral of 1 plus x square dx. Okay, so we need to integrate this. In integration chapter, we learn this formula. Integral of 1 divided by 1 plus x square dx. What is this formula? It is tan inverse x plus c. This formula is there in integration chapter. Okay. So integral of 1 divided by 1 plus y square dy is what? It is tan inverse y. It is easy only. Tan inverse y. I am not writing plus c here because in third step you see we write plus c on any one side. So to avoid the confusion I will write plus c always on for the right hand side part that we already discussed in earlier problem also. So here integral of 1 plus x square dx. How we integrate this? We integrate each and every term. Integral of 1 into dx plus integral of x square into dx. Okay. This further if we simplify tan inverse y equal to here 1 is constant. In integration we know this formula. Integral of k dx is kx plus c. Here k is constant. Integral of 1 dx is what? 1 into x. That is x only. Plus integral of x square dx. We know this formula. Integral of x power n dx equal to x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c. I will apply this formula here. Then what you will get? You will get that x cube by 3 and I will finally I will write uh, integral constant plus c. Here further simplification is also possible but I recommend you to stop this problem here and to avoid the confusion try to avoid the test book answers because what happens this plus c we take in here right hand side if they take plus c on the left hand side they will get one answer in place of plus c they can write log c also. So to avoid the confusion you avoid the test book answer. This much simplification is enough. This is the general solution for given differential equation. Now we will try to understand this with one more example. You observe this question. This is the differential equation. We need to solve this differential equation by variable separable method. In examination the question they may ask like this. Solve this differential equation. Okay. Or they may ask like this also. Find the general solution of the differential equation y into log y into dx minus x into dy equal to 0. Right. However, we are going to solve this by variable separable method. In variable separable method, you need to remember these three steps. What is first step? x variable dx, y variable dy will be separated. So what I will do to write all x terms dx at one side, all y terms dy at one side, I will take this term to the right hand side. Then what you will get? You will get like this y into log y into dx equal to x into dy. I taken this x into dy to the right hand side. My main intention is I want to write all x terms at one side, all x terms dx at one side, all y terms dy at one side. What I will take? I will take this x to this side. You remember we always need dx as into dx. Okay. So you take x to this side. Then what you will get? 1 by x into dx equal to. I will take y log y to this side. Then what you will get here? This is y into log y into dy. You can observe here all x terms dx at one side, all y terms dy at one side. That means x variable dx, y variable dy is separated. Now what we will do in second step, we integrate on both sides. Integrate this on both sides. Integral of 1 by x into dx equal to integral of 1 divided by y into log y into dy. Okay. 
We know this formula from integration. Direct integration formula is there. Integral of 1 by x dx is log x base e plus c. Okay. So integral of 1 by x dx is log x base e. You see here in third step, we know that we will write plus c on any one side. To avoid the confusion, I will write plus c always to the right hand side part. Here, I will write one more simplification step to integrate this very easily. You see, 1 divided by 2 into 3. This can be written as 1 by 2 whole divided by 3. This is 1 by 6. This is also 1 by 6. So here, this can be written as 1 by y whole divided by log y. If we simplify this, you will get this only. It can be understood easily into dy. Okay. So what you will get here log x base e equal to see we know this formula integral of f dash of x divided by f of x dx if numerator is the derivative of denominator then we can write its answer directly log mod f of x plus c so here this integral is of this form please try to understand numerator is the derivative of denominator in such case we can write its answer directly what is its answer log mod f of x so what you'll write here log mod what is f of x f of x is log y plus c further simplification is also possible but to avoid the confusion i'll stop this here only in this variable separable method to avoid the confusion you please avoid test book answers because from person to person the answer varies answer varies means it looks only different answer looks different but actually it gives the same meaning so if you want to avoid the confusion in this method you avoid test book answers i hope you understand this class <laughs>